Hello my friends, first weekend in March in Stockholm. It's not really motorcycle weather, sun has been coming out now a little bit. Um, but yesterday evening, uh, it had been raining all the day, yesterday evening when it cleared up actually for a few hours you could immediately see that ice was forming on all the, the water things or water puddles. So it's not really the weather yet for motorcycling. So I had the idea to record a video about some equipment which I always have with me which I find very useful if you're out in the forests, both um, for clearing up your path, but also if you need uh, fire for wood, uh, fire for wood, wood for fire, um, and that is a saw. Um, the one I've been using for some years is this little saw by, made by Finnish company Fiskars, which is a very simple design, it's a plastic sheath, a little knob which you open here and out comes the blade and then you lock it and the blade cannot go in back. I have a little lanyard there also in case I want to fix it somewhere. It's very light. Um, I have not really put it on a balance but I will do that once I'm home again and give you the weight in the end of the video. Um, this thing has really really sharp teeth uh, so if you manage to get your finger on the way I think you could probably take a finger off with one or two moves of that saw. So be careful with that thing. That is really um, quite 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 sharp. Uh, it's the same kind of blade that you also find like on the larger and smaller Swiss army knives and I've cut myself once with that. It's many many small cuts on the side, deep cuts and it's bleeding like hell. But with that one you easily can take a finger off I guess or even more. Um, so I've had that one for a few years. I have a new one in the side panels in this um, tool compartment or however you want to call it on the 790 Adventure, but this one is the one I have been using for some years. It's still very sharp, so I'm going to use that one today for a test. Then recently I found something else, which is a chainsaw. No, not one of those, but that one here, which comes in this nice nylon holster, which you can put on your belt if you want, but I find that a bit exaggerated. Um, and in there is basically what looks like a motorcycle chain, well a motorcycle, motors motor chainsaw, chain, that's I think how you say, um, ch uh, chain from a chainsaw, um, which is about, what is that, half a meter long. Um, it has a special kind of cutting thing where you have made it, made, have these, made these links reversed every second one so that it actually cuts in both pulling directions. So the idea is basically that you do like that with it, very obvious. Um, and it has some nice robust nylon handles, um, these loops here where you can put your hands through um, to pull. Um, I found that in a, in a shop. We are selling them in different colors. <laughs> Unfortunately we had only the red one. Would have been cool to have an orange one. Um, but uh, maybe one day KTM even gets the idea to put it in a power parts catalog. You never know. We have got quite a good humor I think. So, let's see how these two are performing. However, what I also like are some clothes in that case. So, uh, I've also been using those for some years. These are some special cutting resistant clothes which have some uh, Kevlar or something that uh, fiber in, in the, uh, in, on the inside. And also, uh, like you see on the fingertips. So they are quite nice if you need to handle wood or something like that. Now I have a bit, I'm not a manual worker and that meaning that I have really tough hand and hardened skin, so I really, I really like these gloves um, for if I pull out locks, uh, small locks in the woods for example for making a campfire or something or working with a saw, working with tools, it's nice to have a little bit of protection. So let's see, there's a little lock over there, a little piece of a tree that has fallen down, it's not fresh wood, but I don't want to cut a fresh tree here. Um, so it's old wood, uh, but we can still have a comparison and see how quickly I can cut that with the Fiskar saw against the Nordic pocket saw. So what happened to me a few times is actually that I'm driving a forest road somewhere out there in the woods and there's a tree lying there. Now this is a small one of course, if it gets something like that you basically have a problem where you will probably not be able to cut it with any of those two. But if it's something like that size and it's, it really blocks your way, well, in that case you could easily get with your bike over of course, but let's imagine it's a little bit thicker, something like that, and you want to cut that. So let's see, I'll have a cut first with the, uh, with the um, 
the uh, Fiskars saw. Let's get out my phone and see how fast I can do that. Um, okay, go. That was about 20 seconds, not too bad. So, let's see how I can do with that one. Needs to go that way around. Probably have five seconds ahead, no, oh, ten seconds more like that. Need to subtract ten seconds. Not really. Fifteen. So, let's see. Ah, so also 20 seconds. Not too bad. Uh, felt even more uh, work with that one actually. I guess this is because it's cutting of course much wider gap. See I'm a little bit out of breath also. Um, but let's have another cut and see what I can do on a thicker uh, part of this little tree. So down here, that old tree is a little bit larger, I guess this is like 20 centimeters. Let's see if I can get that cut in a reasonable time. Chainsaw would be better, I mean, I'm one with motor. Am oh, I so out of breath because I've just been eating? I don't know. Oh, almost there. It's getting a bit stuck. Yeah, but it's true. Oh, I'm really out of breath, but it works. So you saw that the tree I was cutting at the end had just about the diameter of the length of that blade. So with that saw it would have been a bit difficult. However, there's a longer version, which I think is something like 20, 30 centimeters, a bit longer than that one. So with that one you might actually have a chance. And uh, you saw how nicely it worked in the beginning. It's again a different story if you have fresh wood. I would need to try that. This thing has been dead for a few years, so that's a different story of course. However, the Nordic chainsaw is actually quite superior when it comes to cutting bigger stuff. I think the trick is that you shouldn't work with your arms so much, but really try move, uh, movement out of your, out of your body not to tire that much and maybe not as fast as I did, go a bit slower and have more endurance actually. But to my excuse, I just had lunch before I came here, so there's still some goulash soup in my stomach. Um, not the best uh, thing if you want to do physical exercises like this. So yes, definitely a good product, the Nordic pocket saw. Friend of mine, Lutz, also bought one. He has just tried it in his garage. Uh, I'll try to find him a, a good lock once we are touring in Sweden uh, over Easter. Promised. Okay, see you. Bye.